Hey all, welcome back to the 518 Trucker. Wanted to talk to everybody today a little bit about how to drive next to or near a tractor trailer or a big truck. Let me start off by saying, which I'm sure a lot of you remember, when we went to get our driver's licenses back in the day, I don't ever remember them covering the conversation or topic of how to drive around a tractor trailer. It was things like how to negotiate a three-point corner, how to take a right-hand corner, how to parallel park. And honestly, I don't know why this topic's not covered in the driving classes and driving schools. My daughter just went and got her driver's license a couple years ago here. And during the five-hour course, she didn't say anything about covering driving around a tractor trailer. It was all kinds of other basic stuff. And a lot of things have actually changed uh, which I'm not going to get into, uh, in regards to how to drive a car nowadays. Some of it makes sense, some of it didn't. So that's here and there. So today's topic, let's get into it. I wanted to cover a few points about driving around a tractor trailer. I really hope that, you know, this makes it out to some of the Main Street public and not just truck drivers. Part of my point of doing this channel is a little bit of transparency. Uh, basically so a broad audience hopefully sees it. I'm not expecting this to be a PewDiePie channel or you know a big YouTube thing out there where it's going to get main of subscriptions and likes um, but I really just wanted to teach, inform, and converse about these types of things because uh, let's face reality as a driver um, we see these things every day and most people that drive a car that have no clue what goes on with driving a tractor trailer, just make these ding dong moves and put us in a jeopardy. So, well, let's get into it. Point number one, do not drive next to a tractor trailer or a truck. Why do you ask? Well, trucks have blind spots. Uh, there's four or five, six different blind spots on the truck. And the reason why we don't want you near us, because you can be in these blind spots, is because if we go to take a turn uh, and you're in that blind spot and we can't see you, guess what? You're probably getting running off the road. So I have in the description of the video a link to the blind spots in case you're not familiar with them. Point number two, you're driving down the highway, you're doing 65 miles an hour, you're cruising next to a trucker. What happens if that truck blows a tire on the tractor or the trailer? Probably a good shot. He's either going to swerve to try to get control of the truck, depending on the tire that blows. Worst case scenario, a piece of the tire could fly off. It could hit your windshield. It could hit your car. It could cause you, as the vehicle driving next to the tractor trailer, to lose control and cause a really bad accident. So don't drive next to us because that's one of the reasons. Point number three, pass next to us on the left, not the right. Make your pass, get by us, but before you get into the lane in front of us, please make sure you can see us in the mirror. Every day I have cars that pass me and they go to get back in front of me and they cut within two inches of my bumper. I don't know why. I don't know why everybody's so impatient. They feel like they need to get into the lane immediately afterwards. But for the love of God, please make sure you can see us in your mirror. Point number four, you're gonna get off an exit. I don't know where this trend started. Impatience, stupidityness, I don't know. Ding-dongs, I call them ding-dongs. Everybody's a ding-dong out there if I see them do something stupid. You're getting off an exit. You're coming down a highway. You're in the hammer lane, and all of a sudden you decide, whoop, you're gonna cut across three lanes of traffic and you're gonna cut us off. Guess what? That could cause us to lock up our brakes and cause an accident from traffic behind us. For the love of God, plan ahead. Don't cut across three lanes of traffic. Get behind traffic. We realize you don't want to wait behind the tractor trailer, but five seconds out of your life is not going to kill you. So please, don't do it. Point number five, don't tailgate us. If something happens in front of us and we got to break quickly and you're riding right on our ass and we stop quickly, you're going to hit us. And let's just say it could be a very ugly situation. If you're tailgating behind us and we stop quickly 
and you're not paying attention and you hit us, it could result in a death or a fatality with you. We've all seen the accidents out there where somebody was tailgating and a truck stops abruptly and the car goes underneath the trailer. And we all know what happens to follow. It's not good. So please, again, follow us into the blind spot, so please don't follow us. Point number six. Don't drive along our right side or try to pass us on the right side in the city or the suburbs where we have to negotiate a right-hand corner. I don't know how many times I've seen a tractor trailer where we need to negotiate a right-hand corner. Sometimes we have to swing out a little bit to the left because it's a tight corner. And I see a car try to pass on the right as a tractor trailer is trying to make a right-hand corner. I don't know what the thought process is behind the person trying to negotiate that corner uh, and pass the tractor trailer on the right. Uh, but don't do that. I mean, it's, there's signs in the back of the trailers that say, caution, truck makes wide right-hand turns, but yet people still try to pass the tractor trailer on the right-hand side when they're trying to make a right-hand turn. I, I, where do, I, really? I mean, hello, people. Use your brain. If you're on the right-hand side and a tractor trailer is trying to make a right-hand corner, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get run over by the trailer. I did think that it was common sense, but apparently it's not with some people. So... Don't do it. Number seven, talking about the right-hand corners. If you're that car or vehicle and you see a tractor trailer trying to negotiate a right-hand corner and you're waiting for the red light to turn left or right or whatever the case may be and you really can't move, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, back up. Give us room so we can make the corner. Um, sometimes it's not always practical cars behind you. If you can't back up, pull to your right and pull forward. That sometimes will give us enough room to make that corner. So just think about the situation for a minute. If you see a big truck trying to make a right-hand corner, he's about, I don't know, 80, 90 feet long and you can't make the corner and you're in the way, you can't go anywhere. Think about it for a minute. Point number eight. You're driving down the road and you see a truck's four ways on. They're on for a reason, people. They're on for a reason. They're either going to back up into a road or a business, which I do every day quite frequently from state routes or a U.S. route, you know, a main two-way or four-way roadway. Um, he's either broke down or he's attempting to make a delivery, which hopefully he's off the shoulder of the road, but... Um, in the LTL world, we do a lot of roadside deliveries. So if you see a, if you see a tractor trailer with their four ways on, slow down, approach cautiously, and for the love of God, if you see the tractor trailer backing into a road or business, do not try to come around that truck while they're making the turn. I can't count how many times I'm blindsiding into a business off of a main thoroughfare, and as my tra tractor's swinging around to follow the trailer, here comes Ding Dong George. He's going to try to make it and go around on my left, which you can't see because, you know, the trailer's in the way and blocking traffic. And all of a sudden, there he is. He's going to come around you, and he almost causes an accident. If you see a tractor trailer backing into a business, just stop. Just wait five seconds out of your life. Nothing is that important where, you know, unless you're going to go get a kidney transplant or a heart transplant and you need to be there, all right, you know what? I get it. I get it. You got to get to the hospital. But for most people, they're just going somewhere. No place important, just doing something in life. Just wait, stop, chill out for a minute, listen to some music, text on Facebook. Instead of doing it while you're driving, text while you're sitting there waiting for the tractor trailer back in. Perfect plan. All right, so a couple other things I just want to touch on real quickly, and we're going we're gonna to end this. Um, a lot of people think that tractor trailers cause most of the accidents out there, and reality is that 80% of the cars out there or four-wheelers, we like to call them, uh, cause 80% of the trucking accidents, believe it or not. Uh, some of the eight points that I just hit on, you guys did something stupid or dumb, and you caused the accident. I hate to say it, um, but 20% of the time, it's our fault. 80% of the time, it's yours. So when you're near a tractor trailer, be smart. Don't do anything stupid. Um, you know, every year, we have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of truck accidents, and what happens? Somebody gets killed. Somebody gets hurt. Uh, what else is a cause? 
expensive insurance claims. And my number one kicker, which I hate and I think we all hate, but you see a tractor trailer accident on the highway, going to cause a traffic jam. We all hate waiting in traffic jams, but uh, just slow down and just be smart about driving around a tractor trailer. I mean, we all hate to wait in traffic jams. I also want to point out, too, that tra truck drivers have less accidents per million miles than cars do. So I want to point that out. It goes back to the statistics, which I'll point into the comments on this on this video of where you can see it. Um, 80% of the cars cause the accidents and 20% of the trucks cause the accidents. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, hopefully this video hit some people in the public that you know have never driven around or near a tractor trailer. Not really 100% sure what to do. Maybe the younger generation, hopefully, you know, you're checking YouTube out and they stumbled upon your recommendations and you watched it. Um, and hopefully you learned something. So if you liked what you heard, you know what to do. Click the button or just stop back another time when you're checking things out and check me out. And uh, thanks for stopping by and checking us out again. The 518 Trucker coming to you from upstate New York. Peace.